Hey Sneakies, welcome to War Thunder on the PlayStation 4. If you're not familiar with this game, it's a massively multiplayer online World War II combat game. And it's eventually going to have a focus on air, ground, and sea combat. Although right now there is only air combat. It's still pretty cool, but it's going to be really awesome when you have all three taking place in matches at once. It's going to be all kinds of crazy chaos. Anyways, for this verse video, we're going to do a run through of the tutorial, which as you can see involves eight different sections. So this might be a little bit lengthy, I'm not really entirely sure how long each segment is. We're going to find out together those seas. Now if you enjoy this series and you want to keep seeing videos come from it, let me know by hitting that like button. If you're not already sneaky, become one today by hitting subscribe and you'll never have to miss another video ever again. As always, I do hope you enjoy. Alright, so first up is basic tutorial course, Fighter. Here we go. Learn the main combat controls on Fighter. Welcome to part one of the basic tutorial. Here you will learn the basics of aerial combat. Well, isn't that nice? In simplified mode, you can control your plane simply by pointing the cursor at the place where you want to fly to. Well, thank you, that wasn't already common sense. Move the cursor to the waypoint. Whoa, we're already dealing with the big challenges here, people. Oh, it's taking us forever to get to this waypoint. Oh, perfect. We can increase our engine power and fly faster simply by holding up the right stick. Oh, look at us. We're approaching 300 kilometers an hour. Are we going to break it before we get there? Oh, we broke it first. And we can even decrease our engine power to fly slower. You can see the aircraft's current speed in the upper left corner of the screen. Yes, thank you. The current engine power percentage is shown above it. Yes, thank you. The aircraft speed depends on its engine power. Decrease the power if you want to fly slower. Increase it if you need to fly faster. Well, it's just overly complicated. Increase the throttle until WEP has been enabled. Okay. Continue flying with your afterburner. The afterburner lets you fly at maximum speed. I mean, this is all pretty basic knowledge, Ed. Even people who probably don't know that much about planes know. I don't know that much about planes and I know all of this. Each mission has its own goals and objectives which must be completed in order to win. Press and hold the tactical map button to see a list of completed, failed, and current objectives. Alright. Oh, look at that, two primary goals and we've got them all completed. We're on a roll here, people. Destroy a barrage balloon. Well, that's not very nice. What did it do to us? To destroy an immobile target, you need to aim at it and shoot. Oh, really? I had no idea how you sh you uh <laughs> how you destroy something with a gun. Thank you. Wow, I do have to admit I like explosions, so I'm not going to complain about destroying that innocent balloon. Now you need to destroy a moving target. See that small object in front of the enemy aircraft? Oh, you mean that box? Yes, I see that. That's the lead angle indicator. Oh, okay. You need to fire right at it to hit the target. You need to aim the aircraft sight at the lead indica angle indicator. Like so. Now your aircraft will start to turn towards the target. You need to aim the crosshair at the lead angle indicator. Okay. Oh, I see. I'm not even really controlling that the crosshairs are like, trying to like maneuver it over in the right direction. Come on, come on. This is actually a little bit challenging. Damn it. I'm not even gonna get past this part. Oh, there we go. Your sight and the lead indica angle indicator have converged. It's time to fire. All right, plane, I certainly wouldn't want to be you right now. Oh, yes. Oh, and I want to be you either. Damn it. Oh, man. Give it sensitive controls. Oh, I'm on fire! Not more than those two planes, but still. Nevertheless, on fire. Oh, there's another one back there. Yes, not quite as on fire as those two. The ground vehicle counter will often appear during missions. 
It shows the number of enemy vehicles you need to destroy to win. Okay. There's only one. All right. Pretty simple. Oh, look. I can even zoom in. Nice. Machine guns and cannons are perfect for shooting at light target vehicles. Great. Now we're going to destroy an innocent truck. I don't know what's up with this. Ah, don't crash. Now you need to steer away from the ground to quickly change the direction your aircraft is heading. Move the cursor to the edge of the screen and hold it there until the aircraft completes the turning maneuver. That's pretty straightforward. Oh wow, that segment's already completed. See? That was pretty short. Alright, on to the next one. And next up is basic tutorial course Assault Plane. Alright, here we go, sneakies. Learn the main combat controls on Assault Plane. Welcome to part 2 of the basic tutorial. Here you will learn how and with what you can assault ground equipment. Okay. Right now you're controlling attack aircraft. Attack aircraft or assaulters are designed to assist ground troops. Often they are armed with light bombs, unguided rockets, and cannons for destroying surface targets. Well that certainly sounds a lot more fun to play with. Oh, just need to head to this target. Let's increase our speed, come on. We'll get there anytime now, Sneakies. One year later. Wait, so where are we going? Fighter and assault planes can carry bombs to drop while diving at ground targets. Your bomb sight shows where bombs will strike the ground. Okay. To hit a target, you need to place it right in the center of your sight. The sight turns red when it is looking directly at the target. Drop the bombs. Yeah, take that, you stupid ground! Now you need to steer away from the ground to quickly change the direction your aircraft is heading. Move the cursor to the edge of the screen. I don't know exactly what the ground did, but it certainly got it when it had coming for it. Notice that your plane carries unguided rockets. Press the launch rocket button to fire them. As they have low accuracy, it's better to fire several rockets at one stroke. Alright, pretty simple. Oh yes! What exactly am I firing at though? Ugh. Oh man, I almost crashed. That would have been horrible. Mission accomplished. And next up is basic tutorial course bomber. Here we go, sneakies. Learn the main combat controls on bomber. Welcome to part three of the basic tutorial. Here you'll learn how to bomb ground targets properly. Well, that's always good to know. Right now, you're controlling a bomber. Bombers can carry heavy bombs designed to deal large amounts of damage over a wide area. To keep themselves safe from AA fire and hostile fighters, bombers fly at high altitudes. Well, that's naturally the smart thing to do. It's much simpler to hit a target using a bomb sight. Triangle, you can toggle between different sites with the toggle view button. Press the toggle view button twice to switch to bomb the bomb site. Oh, nice. Drop bombs on the airfield. Oh, let's take out all of them. Come on. Drop some more. What are you doing? I was wondering what was taking so long. Jeez. 
Often bombers are a target for enemy fighters. Turrets located on the plane can help you to protect yourself. Change button to switch to gunner view. Use our... Oh, I can oh that is awesome. Although certainly not ideal. Oh man. Control is really way too fast. Sensitivity needs to be turned down. Okay, I've got to fire at the lead. I forgot about that. Take that lead. Oh man, seriously. Oh, I'm not aiming anywhere near it. Oh, I think I got him. Possibly. Alright, let's take this one down. Okay, mission accomplished. And finally, for basic tutorial course, we have takeoff and landing. Sneakies, here we go. Learn how to take off and land a plane. Welcome to part 4 of the basic tutorial. This mission is designed to let you practice your takeoff and landing skills. In order to take off, your aircraft must reach a high enough speed. Well, obviously. Push your throttle to 100% to start your takeoff. Run. Okay. Your plane has started accelerating. Watch your speed. I don't think we're there. Your plane has reached a high enough speed. Time to get off the runway. Oh, we made it. We've taken off. Let's just try to get a little bit higher, though. This is way too slow. Alright, now we're taking off. I'm starting to lose some speed there. Push nose down. Whoops. See, I was going to stall out there. That would have been horrible. I'm coming for your waypoint. I'm there. Landing on an airfield during missions. What? Landing on airfield during missions enables you to capture the area or repair the aircraft. In order to land your aircraft successfully, you need to reduce its speed significantly. Alright, come on, let's get that throttle down. It's at zero. Okay then. Deploy the landing gear. Proceed to the waypoint. We're making progress. Direct the plane right to the center of the waypoint. Alright, and hopefully this is not going to end horribly, although... Wouldn't hold your breath if I were you guys. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Ah, That's a mission accomplished! Oh, let's stop the plane just to be on the safe side. We don't need to go crashing any rocks or trees by accident here. Then again, it might be pretty fun, uh, blow up. Kamikaze! That'd be the most useless kamikaze ever, though. Take that, stupid rock! The plane has stopped! A successful landing! Mission accomplished! And that will officially conclude the beginner's tutorial. Come back next time for the advanced tutorial. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and you want more in this series. Subscribe if you're not already sneaky to become one today. You'll never miss another video ever again. Share and favorite so we can grow together and I will see you next time.